Yo, 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 hip hop blog, hip hop blog, hip hop blog. It's the kid AK checking in, man. I'm gonna make this blog real simple, man. I just got on early this morning because I felt a good timing coming on. I'm gonna make this shit real simple for y'all. Today's topic, man, is focused around CEOs and rappers that have certain cliques when they come in the game. And then once they get money and shit, they get some fame, get some real paper in their pocket. The niggas ultimately slim they cruise down to little or nothing. I just want to know what y'all think the reason for that is. Yeah, every, every circle I can name. T.I. Bird came out, it was Mac Boney, uh, uh, AK the Razor Man, uh, C Rod, uh, 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 Leaving out my boy, man. God damn, I can't remember his name. Y'all know who the fuck I'm talking about. Matt Bonin. Yeah, Matt Bonin. C Rod, AK, Tilt. The other AK, anyway. And, uh, and it just seemed like the first PSC album came out. That shit was hot. And then all of a sudden, ain't no more PSC no more. But see, I got a lot of fucking money. And it ain't nothing but. Big Country came out with little promotion. I don't hear the nigga be running with the, with the boy no more. That's just him though. I don't know this person. It's just what I hear. You know, I don't know. I'm gonna have for y'all to think. Lil John, motherfucker had everybody, dude. The whole fucking squad, nigga. They had Trivia, a little Scrappy, the Eastside Boy, Prime Mall, Bo Hagen. Now what? Now that was more of a business move because those were his niggas, niggas coming in the game, like grew up with type shit, but nevertheless, we talking about why do these niggas who making all this money slam their crews down? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I want to say it was who else had a big ass crew? 50 Cent had game, Young Buck. Lord, Tony Yayo, Spider Low, goddamn Olivia, ain't nobody shit come out. You know what I'm saying? And then he slammed his crew down. He richer than a motherfucker. It's just a lot of these niggas, man. I, I'm not dick. It's just I don't understand what what's the what's the whole portrayal behind. Y'all, excuse me. I don't understand what's the whole portrayal behind artists who or CEOs that had their own company. This seem like niggas feel way comfortable uh, with all these niggas around them when they ain't got a lot of money. But after they get the money and get the way they trying to be, they want to be less confrontational. They want less niggas around them. They dead barely want the niggas who came in the door with them. Another label. Murray. Murray, one of the only labels I know that made damn near more money than any other label with only two fucking artists. They ain't put out shit. So you gotta ask yourself, like, damn, how the fuck them niggas made that more money and they ain't put out shit. You know what I'm saying? They put out Josh shit. They put out a shirt and shit. But nigga, it was about eight or nine artists that got damn signed to uh, Bernie. Niggas forget Charlie Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the other motherfucker name, Black Child, whatever the fuck his name was. If we get that nigga, the nigga who stabbed 50 Cent. But we get about him. It's just, it's just weird. I'm just trying to figure out, man, what the fuck. Rough Riders had they run. You know, that was a little bit different because that was more like a crew. You know, that, was, that was put together. I'm just trying to make a point that a lot of niggas shit come out, man, and then 
when niggas get a lot of money, man, they lose interest in the crew. And I just wanted to get y'all opinion on it. I don't really, you know what I'm saying? I can elaborate on it all day, but it would just be my opinion. So y'all let me know what y'all think about it, man. Hip-hop blog, hip-hop blog, hip-hop blog, yeah.